previously I showed you guys how to build this header using components from the free version of Neve. A link to this video will be on the screen. Today we are going to take it a step further by building this header using components from the pro version of Neve. So let's get into it. Okay, so if we go back to the customizer and look at the bottom, we'll see a message promoting Neve's pro version. So click this button. Okay, so we're now on the themes landing page. If I click pro add-ons, it takes me to a section that basically compares features from the free and pro version of this theme. So you can always go through this landing page to view all of the benefits of the pro version. But what we want out of this today is the set of premium header components, also known as pro components. So I'll show you how to install Neve Pro once you've purchased it. I'm going to click the X and once I'm on the dashboard, I'm going to hover over plugins and click add new. Click upload plugin once the page opens and drag your download to this button that says choose file, then click install now. Once the installation is complete, click activate plugin. All right, so we have successfully installed Neve Pro. Let's go to Appearance, Hover, then click Customize. Okay, so we're back at the Customizer. I'm going to click Header, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. So as you can see, we have way more components that we can use to build our perfect header. Okay, so let us add to this header. So I want to add social icons to the top bar. I'm going to drag the social icons component all the way to the right hand side of the top bar. All right. So here we have a preview at the top. Now let us go ahead and add contact information on the top bar, but right before the social icons. So let's see if it looks good here. Um, maybe not. And the beauty of this header builder is uh, its ability to allow you to move components around freely. So let us try this format. Um, I don't think it looks good here either. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the contact information right next to the social icons and put the search form back at the front. So I'm going to drag the contact information right before the social icons. So I'm going to fit it into this column. OK, I think this looks better. OK, so I'm going to click settings on the contact component and here I'll be able to change the, the email address as well as the form type. Right now it's set to email. I would also be able to change the icon. You can also change the phone and address information under layout. I'm not going to adjust any settings, but under style, um, I'm going to change the item spacing to about 24 pixels. So I'm going to remove this 10 and type 24, but you can also use the slider. I'm going to change the text color as well. I'm thinking of using uh, white. So I'm going to use the color picker to select white. I will not be changing the icons color. I think it looks good in white, the same color as the text. For typography, I'm going to expand its settings to make sure everything looks good. I won't need to change any of these settings. So, so far we are good with the contact component. Now let's configure the social icon settings. We have a list of social media channels on the left. If you expand one, you'll be able to change the title and the link, which would correspond to your social media account, as well as the icon, icon color and background color. These options are the same for all social media channels. It's also possible to add to this list by clicking the add item button. Um, at the bottom of the page, there's also an option to uh, have the social media links open in a new tab. At the top, we have layout settings. I won't be adjusting this, but I'm going to click on style. And what I want to do right now is make the social media icons round. So I'm going to increase the border radius until the icons become round. Okay. And I'm also going to adjust the icon padding at the bottom. So I'm going to make this about 10. Okay, so I think the icons look better. So we're done customizing the header components. We added a contact component as well as social media icons. Now let's customize the header rows. I'm going to click on settings for the main header and we have some layout settings on the left. So currently when we scroll down our page, the header gets hidden. We want to change that. So let's click on stick to top on the left. Now, when we scroll down the page, the header remains visible. Now, if we click the show only on scroll option on the left, the header will only become visible when we scroll. 
And as you can see, reading text on the header is a bit confusing since it's transparent. So let's go over to the style tab to change that. Let's go all the way down to the bottom of this menu. Let's look out for overlay color. Okay, so it's right here. We want to use the color picker to select white. Next, we want to adjust the overlay opacity to 100%. Okay, so I think this looks good. The menu text no longer clashes with the body text. Um, but I'm going to go back to the top of this page. So I'm going to scroll all the way back up, go over to layout, and I'm going to turn off show only on scroll. Now this menu will remain visible even when we're not scrolling. Now let's customize this top bar. I'm going to click on its settings and I'm going to turn on stick to top. And by the way, it's also possible to customize these settings for mobile as well. So now both the top and the middle row of our header is sticky. So I think it's time to publish these changes. I'm going to click publish at the top of the page. Okay, now I'm going to right click on this logo to open the home page in a new tab. And I'm using this method since the logo is normally linked to the home page. All right, so here we have our new header using components from the pro version of Neve. Thank you so much for watching.